Dear Tyrwin, how I long to see you smile. Ah, oh, love. How cruel the fates that keep me from my heart's desire and force me to lock away my true feelings. Chains bind my heart, yet it yearns to beat free. Oh, what does an outlander know about the complexities of Dunmary love? But you're only trying to help, and maybe I do need a simpler perspective. How does an outlander convince an overbearing mother that the object of their affection is worthy? Of course not. Tywin is a slave. My mother's slave. I tried to buy her freedom. The mother laughed at the mere suggestion that I'd be allowed to sully our reputation with a noir bride. Perhaps an outlander's offer wouldn't rouse her suspicion. I don't expect you to pay, obviously. It's just that Mother might reveal what it would take for her to release Tyrwin if it was anyone but me asking. Knowing that might give me some idea of how to free my love. It couldn't hurt to ask, could it? Tell her you've heard Tyrwin excels at finding red star shells. Telvanni wizards prize them, and they're very rare. Most of the locals know that Tyrwin is the best at finding them. Mother loves to gloat. I couldn't bear gazing upon Tyrwin since Mother rebuked me. But now, I can't wait to see her lovely face again. I'll be down at the swamp where she hunts shells. Come find me once you've finished dealing with Mother. She'll be at our tower. Lazy vermin. If you want to eat this week, work. Yes, mistress. Well, get to it, now! Yes, mistress. Sorry, mistress. Pardon the mess. My slaves require another lesson concerning their work ethic. And they're no good overseer as well. I suppose I'll have to wield the lash myself today. Have my friends been gossiping about her again? You'd think there were no better topics of conversation. Yes, Tyrwin is my slave. She's no unshed Nyxhound, but she's still a capable harvester. What do you want to know about her? Well, I need someone who can do that too, and I already have Tyrwin. Seems like you're out of luck. Baseless slander! Though I do tire of these ugly rumors surrounding my son. Three red star shells. That's the smallest offer I'll entertain. A bargain. Telvani wizards don't offer their influence and power for something as pedestrian as gold. Three shells should barely cover the gap while I find another harvester. If that's too steep a price, I suppose we're finished here. Oh, Tyrwin, where are you? What I'd give for just a glimpse. Well, did you speak to my mother? What did she say? Knowing her, it's something incredibly unreasonable. Three? Three? That's as many as Terwin manages to find in a month. And she's perfect. No, 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 no. If mother found out, she'd never let Terwin go free. Not for any price. It's an unreasonable sum. But the fact that she asked for red star shells might work in our favor. I've been training a Nyxhound to help Terwin so she can spend more time with me instead of in that vile swamp. Aside from the fetch a fly incident, Nixie's got a solid track record. I'm certain she won't let us down. She's around here somewhere. Nyxhounds vanish when they're afraid, and Nixie's a bit skittish. She'll head off toward the water after I call her. Look around the shorelines, and you'll probably find her digging up shells. Just go where she points. Come on, Nixie, show yourself! There you are. Nixie, go find star shells. Show this nice person where they are. Who are you? These are given lands, you know. 
Take any star shells from this speech and you'll have them to reckon with. He sent you here. To what? Spy on me? To find that can't even find privacy out on this forsaken muck. Because this is the one place I'm permitted to go that he's too afraid to follow. Out here, I don't have to endure his constant fawning or pretend not to see him watching me out of the corner of my eye. Love! I'm a slave and he's my master. Or as close as makes no difference. Wouldn't so much a smile in his direction if it didn't spare me the rod. Tell me why he has you gathering red star shells. What's he up to now? God, no. Fear of his mother's wrath is the only reason I can keep him at arm's length. If he's getting this bold, I have to get out of here. What Lonus wants for me isn't freedom. You really want to free me. Help me get away from these people. Faris keeps my servitude obligation hidden in a house. Steal it for me. I can forge a signature. It won't be perfect, but it should hold up well enough to get me out of Tovani lands. I don't want to be bought. I want to be free. After all Faris and Lonus have taken from me, I don't want them to profit from my release. At least let me cost them. This place has been violated for the last time! you're leaving the estate you decided not to help me didn't you I knew I shouldn't have gotten my hopes up you really did it you what's the catch what do you expect for this I I don't know what to say I was resigned to my fate before you showed up hardly seems real maybe it isn't not until I'm staring at the shores of the Somerset Isles I'll need it. You didn't ask for anything, but I want you to have this. Just the gold I managed to hide away over the years, minus what I'll need for passage. Not payment, a gift. For a friend. Goodbye, and thank you so much. Hey, get away from her! You will ruin everything! Shut up, you slavering jackal! You see this? I'm free. Tewin. I... I was supposed to free you. I was going to take your hand in marriage. It was going to be perfect. 
You ruined it! Listen to me, you little switch. I'm not your plaything, never was, and never will be. I'd sooner lie with the maggots than share your bed. That can be arranged! When I tell Mother about this, you'll wish you'd never spurned me! You'll beg! You will beg! <sighs> that was liberating. Don't worry, I know these lands better than they ever will. There's Thanks an again. Task for you.